Whoa. Damn. Guess a lot more people showed up than I expected. Hey, Rumi! Glad to see you out of your cave. Did you finally decide to join us? Don't get your hopes up, Dan. I'm just sneaking out for a smoke. Oh, come on. Don't be antisocial. I've got a whole bunch of festivities lined up, including a costume contest. Thanks, but I'm good. Uh, speaking of costumes, what are you supposed to be? A car salesman from the 60s? What? No! I'm Norman Bates, you know, from Psycho. Charming. The infamous Ashley from customer service will totally fall in love with you now that you're, you know, dressed as a fictional murderer. Shh! Hey, hey, don't jinx it. I worked really hard making this pork party happen so I can finally make my move. Seriously? Of all costumes to try and woo your coworker. Uh, just go and smoke your cigarette and get back to your den. <laughs> Don't need to tell me twice. Good luck, man. Wow. Dan really went all out on the decorations. If all these ghosts and pumpkins don't make Ashley finally fall for him, I don't know what will. I guess I'll know by the end of the night. Huh. Who would have thought all of his cubicle buddies could dress up and cut loose like this? Well, at least everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Whoa, look at that. A lone angel standing amidst the crowd of witches and vampires and, well, Dan. Their white outfit, those wings, those eyes. What an absolute vision. Huh, is it just me or do they look a little on edge? And who's that following them? Ah, oh, shit, it's one of those guys. For fuck's sake. Why can't these kinds of creeps just be chill for once? Don't worry, Angel. I got you. Hey. Not you, Angel. Talking to the creep skulking behind you. Oi, Hansy. You lost or what? Oh, you just wanted to talk to them? That's funny, because from where I was standing, they were zigzagging all around the room trying to get away from you. The fuck? I don't care what they're wearing. Costumes do not equal consent, and it doesn't give you a free pass to harass them. <laughs> this is Dan's party, sure, but this is my house, and I'll throw you out if you insist on being a dick. Choice is yours. Behave or get the fuck out. Glad we have an understanding. Now, if you'll excuse us, we are going to get some fresh air. Shh, just walk. The balcony looks clear. Let's step out for a sec. <sighs> well... That was exciting. You okay, Angel? <laughs> eh, sorry for the nickname. Just kind of slipped out. You didn't answer my question. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. That guy just pissed me off. God, I really need a smoke. Want one? I'll take the edge off. Suit yourself. Oh, that's good. You don't have to stand out here with me if you didn't want to. I just figured it'd be a good idea to put some distance between you and uh, Mr. Hansy. Nah, you don't need to be scared of him. Guys like him are cowards once they get called out on their bullshit. 
He'll straighten up now that he knows I've got my eye on him. It's no problem. After all, Dan's been planning this party for weeks. I wasn't about to let some asshole ruin it for you guys. <laughs> Thanks. But I don't know if my gesture qualifies me as a good guy. I'm just tired of him moaning over Ashley. Yeah, that Ashley. He's been pining after her for over a year, but never had the balls to ask her out, so he threw this whole party to make his move. I'll be damned if Mr. Hansy gets in the way of... Whoa. You okay? What's wrong? Huh. I'm sorry that guy upset you. I don't blame you for feeling angry. I just, I just, you know, I hope you're not directing that anger at yourself. Well, because you didn't do anything wrong. He did. That's not true. You weren't asking for anything. He was just looking for an excuse for his gross behavior. The jerk was totally out of line. Don't let him get to you, all right? <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. You don't have to just get over it. The guy made you feel violated, so your frustration is totally valid. Yeah, I'd be feeling all sorts of things if I was in your shoes. Yeah, let him out. Fuck yeah, you should. It's better than forcing him down, getting an ulcer from it. How? Hmm. Let me think. Huh. Well, our gracious host left all these big pumpkins out here for us. And we're pretty high up here on the balcony. And why not? <laughs> Don't worry about Dan. He's far too distracted right now with Ashley to care about all these bad boys. I say we drop them one by one over the railing. Fine, I'll go first. Let me grab this one here. Got it. And bye-bye. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, it shattered all over the driveway. Oh, man. Talk about cathartic. I just imagine it was Mr. Hansy's skull hitting the pavement. <laughs> sure. I'm joking. If that makes you feel better. Now it's your turn. Grab a pumpkin. Oof. That one looks heavy. Need some help with that? If you're sure. All right. Now, when you're ready, go ahead and drop it. Or you can throw it. Wow. <laughs> Damn. We got a good arm on you. You threw that one all the way to the sidewalk. Well, is that a smile I see? I told you. It's always better to unleash your wrath and try to keep it in. Nah, I don't feel bad. Parties are for blowing off steam and having fun, and that's exactly what we're doing. Now, you keep tossing them while I finish my cigarette. Night's not over until we smash each and every one of these orange fuckers. <laughs> there you go. Again. Another. This time, imagine that pumpkin is Mr. Hansy. <laughs> uh, just do it for, uh, let's call it therapeutic purposes. Go on. Throw it. That's it. Keep going. Show those pumpkins who's boss. 
God, look at them go. Those poor pumpkins didn't stand a chance. And I think they looked so sweet and innocent when I first saw them. But they've definitely got some fire in them. I like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, Angel. Holy fuck, you nearly threw yourself over the railing that time. You okay? Yeah, I think you got a little too into it. Did smashing those pumpkins help you feel better? Good. Hey, look at me. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I do. Listen, you can't change what happened with that guy. But you can change the trajectory of the night and end it on your own terms. Why do I care? I... I don't know why. I just do. I have since the moment I set eyes on you. Are you kidding me? How could I not see you? You were, are, the most captivating person in that room. Couldn't take my eyes off you. Of course I meant it. I, oh. hmm. <laughs> Damn, Angel. What was that for? Oh, you're welcome, but... You know, people typically introduce themselves first before kissing someone else. Nice to meet you, Cardlin. Okay. When I said you should blow off steam, I didn't mean... No, I'm not turning you down outright, but... Let's face it, you didn't come here tonight to make out with your co-worker's roommate. You came here to party. Huh. Well, let's make a deal. You're going to go back in there and have a good time and win that costume contest. Ugh, trust me, you're going to win. Don't worry about Mr. Hansy. I'll be by your side the whole time. He won't come near you unless he wants to end up over the railing with all those pumpkins. Yeah, of course I've got your back. And if you're still wanting to blow off some steam when the night is over, I won't say no. <laughs> hey, I'm not exactly the most religious man, but I'm not one to refuse one of God's good gifts. Especially when it's an angel such as yourself. Hmm. What do you say? Well, then let's go. Hurry. Before anyone else sees what we've done. 